What is the deal with all these dudes on TikTok running out into the middle of the woods just buck ass naked and- Oh wait, that- wrong video, my bad. What is up with all these dudes starting podcasts where they shit on women the whole time? And why are they so popular? Well, let's talk about it. These podcasts have grown in popularity over the last year, and they've been swarmed with controversy for obvious reasons. These podcasts have a specific way of running that let you know immediately that you're in for a treat. Usually it's set up to where there's about two to four guys, and then about three to 15 women. And it's set up this way because the guys always want to sound like they are in the right, which may not make sense because, you know, more people, more voices, right? Let me put it this way. It's easier to get one out of 15 people to say something stupid than one out of three. These podcasts work super well as clip farms because just the amount of people that they have, it always gets chaotic. Also because the hosts straight up just say some of the most retarded shit I've ever heard in my life. And they try and play it off like it's factual. That's why they always invite people like Destiny because they know that they can farm clips from that. Today we're gonna be going over three of these podcasts, which I will from here on be calling daycares because they might as well just be daycares for these man children. These guys actually do just straight up have meltdowns over simple disagreements as you'll see later in this video. All right, let's just get started right off the bat with the big which, to my surprise, not fresh and fit. Guess they gotta be second at everything. So first daycare that we got up is the Whatever Podcast. These guys got into some hot water recently because of their take on abuse. Um, if he's being abusive to you. If no. he's hitting you, you should not raise your child in that environment. You should get your child out of there because that person is being a danger to your family, to you, and to your child. So I agree, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that is still an anomaly. I mean, like we mentioned earlier, this, anomaly, is, this is a true statistic. Extreme anomaly. Well, eighty percent of. And then. Um, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. From Would who? You, from both. This is so a rare. Anyone, this anyone so really. Rare. Even on. if it happens. Go on, go on. My, my point is, I'm just, yeah, even though it might be rare from what you guys think, it is. Uh, if it would happen, what would you recommend for those people to do? Would they divorce, or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. I mean, that's not a real thing. Uh, you can like separate. See, his Catholic background shines through. He knows. <laughs> you can't divorce. <laughs> <laughs> really you, can, you can separate, but you can't actually divorce. That's not a real Even thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive. Yeah, you gotta endure. People are too. You wanna stick in people relationship? People are just. See, I mean, like, look, people I'm nowadays gonna be honest. are just pussies. Everybody fucking quits. Everybody gives up. It's too hard. I'm this X Y Z. This is why I'm special, so I can fuck up this entire situation based upon me being special. And the reality is people just haven't learned to fucking endure. There have been hard times in relationship. I'm sure you guys have had hard times in relationship. Any relationship has hard times. Okay. And it is what it is. You need to push through and you need what to endure because we're in this. Abused? Hold on. Because we're, we're in this situation now like where everybody's just creating this like super nuanced like 1% example of like, well, what if the kid's fucking transgender, black, and abused, and he's a Black Lives Matter supporter? Like, cool, yeah. okay. <laughs> I get like that one fucking minute situation. No, but I'm asking situation. for anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, endure. endure. Would they give I'll, up I'll divorce? Tell you what endure. I don't, that's I'll tell you what, endure. The craziest part to me about these guys is that it feels like they just straight up can't conceive that abuse is a real thing. Like, I don't know if they know this because I guess it's just some secret guarded in a fucking dragon guarded dungeon or some shit. But um, the rate of abuse is like 40%. And that's just in the US, at least if I remember correctly. I was raised in an abusive household. So, I mean, it's not that fucking rare, honestly. They're treating abuse like this is the gnome that they just fucking caught and held in their basement for two weeks. Release me! And the fact that this fucking troglodyte over here, dressed like he's about to give a sermon, is over here just being like, You just need to endure, right? People give up way too easy, you little simple snowflakes. You can't just, uh, you can't just be abused, you can't just be beaten. It's actually good for the kids to watch you beat the shit out of each other. It's not only a sign that this dude is completely delusional, but it's also a sign that he probably shouldn't be around this many women. Cause like, holy shit. This entire clip is just this guy trying to fly off the rails. The amount of mental gymnastics you have to have to have a take like this is absurd. And it, what makes it weirder is all the guys are just straight up defending this, except for Destiny over here, who's the only sane person on this podcast, clearly. Like, even the- even this girl sitting with them like she doesn't say anything which makes you think that maybe she's agreeing with the women but like she only chimes in whenever it's needed for her to argue against them and then they go on and make a point that like cheating is worse than abuse like like just watch just watch this i want to ask one more scenario okay Please. what about if uh 
Do people so get married, they have a kid, and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. They should yeah. divorce then? <laughs> Jesus himself you don't said. Think that it Jesus, wasn't hold on, hold on. Adultery. Jesus himself said. And you could like work things through, right? Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is So you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For the children, for cheating, sorry, you think that cheating is worse than physical abuse? abuse. For the sorry. children, yes. I'm I, th- I think not. I think Wait, I'm not going to say divorce? this is worse. Than divorce that. I mean, is worse I, I, for the children. No, 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 I already is said. I already said that if, if cheating, a woman's yeah. getting abused, yeah, I think she should leave. Like, you know, <laughs> if it's a if it's a, a brief temporary thing, like what if it's mental abuse? Okay, now it's less cut and dry. If you are setting your child up for failure as well, if you stay in like these abusive marriages, yes, it is because you're literally every single psychologist. And I know that Charlie made a video on this already. Who fucking who? I'm late to the party yet again. Shit, my bad, right? But this this video is not just about this clip. About all of these guys. So I'm trying to make a point here. Just bear with me. It really is telling the way that they view abuse it, it's crazy that they're just saying like this is that 0.01 percent offbeat chance thing like it's it's rarer than a fucking shiny yeah, yeah, extremely then niche separating. hold on you're yeah. taking an extremely I don't think it's very niche extreme. example you are i don't think I, it is okay well, i think are. there's a lot of so listen you're taking an extremely there, niche so. example and you're blanket statementing it for like the entire I'm not solution I'm not of it's divorce all. i think that th- I think I mean, like clearly they've never talked to a woman before like literally one out of i think it's one out of three women Women are abused or were in a, an abusive relationship and even one out of eight men and that's in the u.s alone that's a fucking like it just boggles my mind that there's people out here that actually think like this now let's move on to our second daycare which it's your boys fresh and fit these guys got into some pretty fucking crazy drama over the past couple days because they wanted to end quote unquote um abba and preach which are two youtubers who dog on fresh and fit every chance they get and these guys almost always win because fresh and fit are genuine idiots and myron is probably one of the dumbest motherfuckers i have ever seen on youtube they really only say shit to get clipped and oh boy get clipped they did bro all right can you move over a little bit okay i'm moving over you fucking change you see out of that you fucking sand nick but it's okay white supremacist sand nick this nigga here is funny. Shut up, you Albanian f- <laughs> Keep running the clip, you change. <laughs> Who's that weird nigga that can't speak? with the red. Not respect to minorities. What the fuck? Right now, he puts there probably swinging yeah. around eating some bananas. Fucking stupid bitch. Preach is crying right now, swinging from a monkey branch, Bro. eating a banana. Playing some Donkey Kong on an N64 because he's a stupid prick. He's a window licking stupid n- I love when shit like this comes out because it shows you people don't understand the fact that this is on the internet forever. And this is why free speech is so important because you get to see who people really are when they get it. This was Myron's attempt to nuke Abba and Preach. Which, how? How the fuck? What? What? part of that makes any goddamn sense how are you gonna nuke them with this like you're nuking like by nuking yourself what are you trying to do here and to be honest i'm surprised their channel's still up with this insane fucking lack of foresight and i know i know that they make this point in the video that abba and preach made but you can most definitely tell this is not his first fucking time saying shit like this the words flow out of his mouth so naturally like you can tell this is this is with feeling and i can't even joke about it because i don't know what to say a dude literally just like straight up nuclear fallout that is what his channel is about to be he just dropped a fucking fat boy on himself i would like to say benefit of a doubt you know maybe it was just a joke it was a bit it's a stupid bit, but like, I know it wasn't that. Bro spoke with so much intention behind those words, it was foul. And I'm not trying to be a drama channel or anything like that, so, and, and I know that's kind of what my videos have been aimed towards as of late. Not what I want to do, but there's so much happening right now and it's just, it's breeding a whole lot of crazy shit. Next, we have this anomaly of a daycare, the Unfiltered Podcast, which is such a weird one because it's ran by a bunch of dudes that look like they are fresh out of middle school. It also has like next to no views, which I mean, I guess it's not next to no views. They got more views than I do, so they're winning at something, but they get mad at like the slightest fucking inconvenience. They're also just straight up known for throwing tantrums if girls don't think they're attractive enough. So again, you sound like a stupid ass bitch. 
I'm trying and to figure two. out why you rated me a two because we're not we're not going off our interactions. We're going off beauty. I don't right? like light skin niggas. I don't give a fuck. I think they got popular off of TikTok or something like that. I mean, I've seen a couple clips of them floating around, but like they're getting like nothing. Like genuinely, I don't know how the hell they're making money. Or at least enough money to run a podcast like this. I guess this is where we can kind of start talking about the audience. Because who the fuck is watching these podcasts? And this is the main reason why I made this video. I'm I'm so curious. Who is actually watching this shit? I'd understand if these were like lol cows or they were being treated as a joke, but they aren't for some reason. So it has to be kids, right? Like their audience is most likely from either two camps, right? You got middle schoolers who just broke Woke up with their sixth grade girlfriend or some shit and now they think all women are the same and then you got grown ass men who are still in that phase like that that's the two and personally i don't know which one is more sad because i'm gonna be i'm gonna i'm gonna level with you real quick all right if that's my audience i am ashamed like <laughs> like straight up i'm i'm sorry but like if if you're one of those people, hop off the channel, bro. I'm, I'm not about you. It's a pretty toxic circle jerk that these guys make not only for themselves, but also for their audience. And as you guys saw in the clips, it's literally just a bunch of dudes hyping each other up on like ninth layer of hell, ice cold takes. And it's shit they probably shouldn't say on camera. Luckily, it feels like more and more people are realizing that this shit is like clown mentality. And I very much hope to see this red pill movement just fucking like fade away over the next two years or so and it feels like we're heading that way and can we just talk about the girls on this podcast real quick like why are you coming on the show like did you not see all the other clips they're using you to make money like why are you humoring these guys and giving them more revenue ladies if you're watching this for some fucking reason uh don't go on these podcasts i get you want to voice your opinion that's a good thing right but not on these podcasts they don't give a fuck about your opinion they never did they invited you on there to be a cash grab like you can't change these guys' minds they're, they're dead set in their fucking ways, and you can very much tell by the way they speak. They don't give a fuck about your opinion. They brought you on for two fucking reasons. One, so that way they can make clips out of dumb shit that either you or they say, and as a thirst trap they can put in the thumbnails so that way fucking middle schoolers and high schoolers can click on the videos more. That's it. That's all you're used for in this in these podcasts. I know you're not getting paid, so why are you here? They're just making money off of you, and they're wasting your time. And let's be fucking real here for a second. These podcasts would not work without the women in it. I know for a fact that 80% of their audience is not there for the dudes. No one's watching it for your fucking takes, dude. It's all a bunch of horny teenagers watching it for the girls. Do me a favor, boys. If you're watching this type of brain rot, please go pick up a hobby, or like, go read a book. Here's a recommendation. 100 million dollar offers by Alex Ramosi. Change your life. And I mean, if not a hobby, at least you can maybe like, I don't know, like, comment, and subscribe to Void the Warlock. That'd be, that'd be cool. Uh, hit the bell notifications. That'd be pretty nice. Huh? If you leave a comment down below, I'll stop forcing my dog to hit the yoinky spelunky. And I'll stop taking my meds. But yeah, podcasts like this just make me, they just make me curious. Like, who really is watching this stuff, you know? Who is paying these guys this much money? Fresh and Fit, obviously, is about to lose all of their sponsors if they had any to begin with. And clearly, they're gonna lose their YouTube channel they keep this up. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And the whatever podcast, I'm surprised they're still up after that take. And this obviously is not all of the podcasts. These are just the three most relevant dating alpha podcast things whatever the fuck these these are and i can only imagine how much worse it gets the further down this rabbit hole you go or just how much more stupid it is because honestly like watching these guys talk is it hurts my it hurts my head it hurts my head there's a lot of mental gymnastics they have to do to make any of their points and like i said in my last video that i made on like the the matrix and these alpha male people they don't really make any points like their whole brand is supposed to be to help men get into relationships or like help them with their mental health or their businesses all that like that's the branding here none of their fucking videos are like this N none of them talk about business none of them help you with relationship advice because they know it would never get clicks for their podcast if their entire podcast was like self-help they wouldn't be in so much fucking controversy just try not to be like these guys anyways that's probably gonna be it i hope you enjoyed me ranting about stupid shit again